welcome back everyone. I'm Karen Bishop, Education Outreach Coordinator at National Wildlife Federation. Today, Teresa Edwards, the Resource Specialist at Government Canyon State Natural Area, will walk us through thinking like a scientist. Teresa, if nature is everywhere, even in a place like your refrigerator, do we need to protect it? Yeah, most definitely. Not all nature is equal. Uh, while the cracks in your sidewalk might contain small little microcosms of life, we can't support much. Now imagine a bird trying to live in that sidewalk crack. Not gonna happen, right? Now imagine if that sidewalk was gone and replaced by a dirt path with some grass and wildflowers and trees. How many more organisms do you think you could find in this space? That bird that couldn't fit in the sidewalk crack could happily make its home in that tree next to the trail. Yeah, and the little grasses and flowers growing on the sides of the trail provide homes for all sorts of different insects. This increase in biodiversity or in the number and type of organisms present in an area is made possible just by removing that little bit of sidewalk. Now, imagine what would happen if we removed all of the roads and houses and cars and all of the other human things from around the area too. How much more biodiversity might we see? With enough preserved space, Maybe we could even encourage larger animals like beavers or deer to move in and build homes. We would have enough room for all sorts of species of plants and animals to exist and thrive. Right. This kind of space is what we call a healthy ecosystem, a community of many different types of organisms that all live together among the soil and the water and the rocks. But in reality, this would be pretty hard to do, right? For sure. People kind of use those roads and live in those houses. Plus, it'd take a long time for new trees and other plants to come back to the area. In comparison, it's a much, much easier to protect and try to restore the natural spaces that we already have. With that in mind, for today's activity, let's observe like biologists. In a moment, if you can, go outside and close your eyes. What do you hear? What do you smell? Then look closely or even crawl on the ground what do you see? Can you find an ant or another insect? Where is it going? What is it doing? Finally, take a moment to sit and draw. Try to scribble out as many details as possible of the wildlife you see. Thanks everyone. Bye guys.